<sighs> All right, people. Now, I have tackled a lot of sensitive topics on this channel. Anything from the liberal agenda trying to cancel Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer to Joseph Robinette Biden's presidency as we are currently experiencing it. But there has been one topic that we haven't touched thus far, and we will be rectifying that today. Now, let me make something incredibly clear. This is a topic that is more than likely going to offend you, particularly if you're a 14-year-old edgelord who posts memes about how there is no God on Reddit in exchange for thousands of karma points, which are fake internet points that validate you because you depend on other people to justify your own existence and feel good about yourself. The truth of the matter is this. It could not be more clear. We could not have access to more tools that prove the fact that God exists. If you are an atheist, if you deny the existence of the one true God, you are a fucking idiot. I shit you not, you are the dumbest form of life on earth. I'm shocked that you managed to survive this long. I want you to, as your blood starts to boil and as your body starts to seethe at the words I'm saying, take a step back, take a deep breath, ready? And I want you to look out a fucking window. I want you to look out a fucking window. Look at the trees. Look at the birds. Look at the grass. Look at the ground. Look at life. And then tell me that this all was a giant cosmic accident. <laughs> How fucking stupid does one have to be to think that the creation of the world in which we live on, the creation of life itself, that our sole existence was a happy accident. I have heard some dumb shit. I have heard fanboys say with complete sense of certainty and no irony that the Nintendo Switch is the greatest console. I have heard people say that Joe Biden is the best president, deadpan, they are not joking whatsoever. There are tons of stupid claims out there. I have heard it all. But to insinuate that there is no higher being that is solely responsible for our existence is not only wrong, it is intellectually dishonest. Because God herself gave you that brain. And you are using the tool that you have been given to deny the existence of the creator. You're all roasting in hell. <laughs> you fucking clowns are going to be burning alive while I'm sitting upstairs with the big guy. Sitting at my lawn chair. Got a fucking martini in one hand. Got my sunglasses on. Oh man, listen, I am going to smoke weed with Jesus while you're having your sorry ass roasted over an open fire in hell, the devil prodding you with a fucking pitchfork. I say this not to get you scared or get you all agitated and annoyed. I come not bearing a fear-mongering argument, but an extended hand in hope that you see the truth. God is a transient being who has made his will known for over 2,000 years. Listen, <laughs> before you even bring up all the... I've heard all the arguments against the existence of God, all right? You want to talk evolution? We evolved from fucking monkeys? First off, I take that as an insult. Second off, if we evolved from monkeys... Why do we still have monkeys? <laughs> Why are mo are these the fucking dumbass monkeys? They they're just a little too retarded. They didn't evolve yet. <laughs> oh my god. These monkeys that we have over here are just the real special needs kids. <laughs> oh, you fucking inbred idiots. My god. I take the monkeys over you any day. Listen, I take a monkey and I guarantee you, I guarantee you it has a higher IQ than an atheist. I mean, I fucking promise you it does. All right? Evolution's a lie, by the way. The Bible disproves that 110%. If you believe in evolution, you're just a fucking idiot. Now, what's the other thing that these so-called 
atheists run to. They run to the Big Bang Theory. Yep, let, let me break down the Big Bang Theory for you guys, all right? So it gets real technical. These atheists like to throw around a lot of buzzwords. Let me break down what the Big Bang Theory is, just so you know. When you boil it all down, it says this. In the beginning, there was nothing. Then a giant fucking boom happened. <laughs> I can't, I can't say it with any sort of serious tone. I bust up laughing. A giant fucking a giant boom happened and that caused all matter to start spreading out and start fucking multiplying until there were planets, until there were fucking people. We all started as a single-celled organism. We have a common ancestor and a fucking piece of bacteria. It's so retarded. It is the dumbest shit I have ever heard. The Bible lays it out perfectly clear, all right? On the first day, God created Earth. He created the wonderful planet that we reside on. You don't need to go looking for a scientific answer. The Bible lays it out for you. The Bible tells you exactly what happened. Now, how do we know the Bible is true? Prophecy! The people in the Old Testament predicted that the Savior would come, that he would be sacrificed, that we would not know who he was. That shit came true. It's in the New Testament. And you atheists, you dumbass atheist fucking degenerates out here. See, America was founded on Christian values. Now, you might not be from America. That just means whatever country you're from, I feel sorry for you. You don't live in the greatest nation the world has ever known. But this entire nation... Was founded on conservative Judeo Christian values. And you clowns coming out here trying to liberalize everything. You SJW warriors out here trying to separate church and state. Motherfucker, the entire state was founded on the church back in the day. I swear to God, if our forefathers, if fucking Washington, Lincoln, Thomas Jefferson could see the sad and pathetic state of religion in 2021 going into 2022 today, they'd be rolling over in their fucking graves. They would go off themselves. They wouldn't want to live in this world. This is not what they fought for. This is not what fucking people fought for. You've disrespected this country. You've disrespected our values. You've disrespected God. You've disrespected God. And you sad, pathetic little atheists, oh my God. I hope you realize, I hope you realize the damage you're doing to yourself, to your families, and to us as a collective, as a human race. We need God. He is a jealous God. We have no gods before him. So you need to fall to your fucking knees and you need to look upwards. You need to cast your fists into the sky and need to cry out, Oh Lord, forgive me. I have sinned left, right, up, and down. I have denounced you in front of friends and family. I have denounced you in front of perfect strangers. Please forgive me. And then you better hope and pray every day of your life from now until when you fucking die. You better fucking pray to the good Lord above that he forgives your sorry ass and does not send you down to the fiery pit of hell where you will be tormented for all of time. I hope and pray each and every one of you come to that realization because as much as I hate motherfuckers out here trying to perpetuate lies and my entire channel was founded on pushing the truth, there is nothing more true than the Bible and the word of God himself. And by the way, I just want to emphasize this one fact for all of you who may be wondering. If you need just a little bit more evidence that God is real, if you're still having doubts despite all of this evidence that I presented in a highly edited video that is made to appeal to people of all ages, all genders, all ethnicities, and all walks of life, let me state this loud, proud, and clear as crystal water. I am God. I was sent here for one purpose, to drop truth bombs the size of nuclear warheads, and this is without a doubt the biggest bomb yet. You don't need to believe in a book wondering if the fairy tale's true. You don't need to stare up at the sky wondering if the big guy is listening. I'm right 
fucking here. I am God incarnate, and I have brought a new message. I am casting aside every single one of you who stand in my way. And those of you who follow, those of you who kneel and worship at my feet, you will be welcomed into the kingdom of heaven. And those of you who don't, (laughs) I hope you do well in hot temperatures, my friend. In God's name we pray, a fucking man.